Hey, this is The Betrayer, and the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter has ended, and they've accumulated $6.3 million. And that's pretty awesome, they broke the world record for the most funded video game on Kickstarter. And that's awesome. But it has me worried. Now, scrolling all the way down here, it, their stretch goals were absurdly high. I don't understand what... Do they really think they plan on reaching $11 million? And of course, there are question marks. Oh sure, if it ever reaches $11 million, let's just keep adding more stretch goals. But really, a lot of what these stretch goals add, just expanding, expanding minigames and places, that's cool, but it just makes me wonder, well, if it hasn't reached all these stretch goals, Shenmue 3 won't be the complete experience that Yu Suzuki stated in uh, his first video uh, when he announced the uh, Shenmue 3 Kickstarter. This is going to be the Shenmue 3 experience that we've always wanted, but if it hasn't reached these stretch goals, then it's not going to be the complete experience, and that's what I'm worried. Like, I want Shenmue 3 to be awesome, but what, it's going to miss out on all this stuff? Battle system expanded. Ragdoll reaction, that doesn't matter, but AI battling, okay, uh, high ground battle system. You're, I'm missing out on combat, because we, I didn't throw money at the game, we're not going to have all the stuff, and that really sucks, but yet I've been hearing on the internet that, okay, they're getting money from elsewhere as well, not from Sony, but they're getting money from somewhere, so, um, which is weird, because I think, what, I don't know, Shenmue 1 or 2, they're, um, their budget back then was like 40 million dollars to make it, and yet, what, 6.3 million? This is 2015. How much is that really going to cover? So surely they'll they'll definitely get they'll get money elsewhere. But I just hope all this stuff is added. It just has me worried. That's all. I want Shenmue 3 to be awesome, but please have everything. Let it be the complete Shenmue experience, <laughs> which is kind of funny saying complete. And in 2015, in an age where no game is complete at release. Now, they released this little video short um, a while ago, uh, showing some more footage of Shenmue 3, and it looks, I, I, I gotta say, the environment looks fantastic. The lighting, fantastic. Uh, the little particles, the what, the fireflies in the air, the, the, the lighting, the reflection, I love it. I'm only concerned about how the clothing will react to, like, say, the wind. Uh, because in this video footage, uh, Ryo's jacket looks so stiff. It's not moving, it's not reacting to, to his movements, although he's not moving much, but uh, it would be nice to see wind, at least. Uh, but that's just, I'm just nitpicking. But this is still in production, it's not the final product, I understand. Let's just hope that his uh, fabric will react to the wind. That's, that's all I'm saying. Other than that, it the game looks fantastic. Just spot on, yes. <laughs> still waiting for this game, I can't wait to play it. Whenever it comes out, I'm getting on day one. So what do you think of this game, Shenmue 3? Do you think it's going to be awesome? you think it's going to suck? Maybe? Because nowadays it seems like a lot of AAA games are sucking with glitches and being incomplete. <laughs> Maybe Shenmue 3 will be a bomb. Who knows? But I'm still getting it. Still excited. This is The Betrayer, and I'll see you next time.